It is a single line diagram of a three phase radial system. I think you know how to model a network system and find the components. If you still have difficulties, uh, you can check my previous videos. In this video, I am going to demonstrate fault analysis in three phase system using time or current relay that we modeled previously. The link is in the description. First of all, let us have a quick look at each of these blocks. All the blocks that you can see here are existed in Simscape power system, specialized technology, uh, and fundamental blocks. For example, from electrical sources, uh, you can add three phase source block. From element, uh, you can add three phase fault three phase breaker uh, three phase transformer and three phase parallel rlc load also you can add the three phase vi measurement block from measurement and so on let's also look at the parameters uh, it is a three phase voltage source uh, phase to phase voltage source is l1 kilo volt uh, in rms frequency is 50 hertz and the three phase short circuit level at base voltage is 20 MVA and similarly base voltage is 11 kV uh, and the generator type is swing or slack it is a circuit breaker block uh, where the opening and closing times will be controlled by the relay or from an internal control time. As you can see here, uh, the three phase breaker block uh, uses three breaker blocks connected between the inputs and the output of the block. We should put the initial status uh, closed and make sure that uh, you take it the external checkbox because we are going to control it by the relay. And these are the default values, uh, no need to change. And the breaker resistance cannot be set to zero. And you can set the snowball resistance uh, to infinite to eliminate the snowballs from the model. Uh, snowball capacitance is already infinite. This is the three phase VI measurement block uh, that we can use it as a bus. Also, we can measure the amount of voltage and current, especially when there is a fault uh, that enables you to see how much excessive current passing through the system. And this is the three phase parallel RLC load. Nominal phase to phase voltage is 0.4 kV in RMS. Nominal frequency is 50 Hz. Uh, active power is 5 MW. And reactive power is 20 kvar. This is our relay model uh, that we modeled in the previous video. We have three input and one output. The inputs are connected to the load current uh, and will compare it with this constant value. And the relay will operate when the load current exceeds this constant value. And the output relay is connected to the circuit breaker. In order to trip circuit breaker uh, when the load current exceeds the preset values for the time setting. These are the scope blocks uh, to analyze the waveforms of voltage and current. To apply fault on our system, uh, we need to a three phase fault block. The fault block allows you to represent an electrical fault as a single phase, two phase, or three phase grounded or ungrounded fault. Make sure that you check the external box. Then you can specify the switching time from here. Like I said, the starting fault at 0.1 second. Now assume that fault is occurring uh, next to the load. If you want to see the fault between the phase A to the ground, we need to select the phase A and the ground parameters and also specify a small value for the ground resistance. Now let's run the circuit. 
double click on current measurement scope here you can see the three phase waveforms the three phase currents are in normal condition before 0.1 scan and after 0.1 scan fault is occurring on phase A uh, like what we said already then the circuit breaker strips after 0.3 scan and isolate the rest of the circuit to prevent damaging our system the set time for the tripping circuit breakers can be changed from our relay model RMS block uh, here in sample time let's change it to 0.2 scan it is a kind of theoretical relay uh, not practical I am using this as a simulation purpose to have a better understanding of the relay now the circuit breaker must trip at 0.2 scan yes exactly the circuit breaker trips after 0.2 scan let's also check the voltage waveforms yes the same thing you can see here the three phase voltage will operate normally tail 0.1 scan after 0.1 scan fault occurring uh, on phase A and will be cleared after 0.2 scan let's also check fault between two phases uh, or three phase grounded or ungrounded fault now assume that we have double line to ground fault for example uh, fault is between phase A and B to ground ok run it again first let's check the current waveform yes as our expectation fault is occurring between phase A and B and was cleared after 0.2 scan you can notice the same change for voltage waveforms and finally let's check the three phase ungrounded fault check all phases phase A, B and C and remove the check mark of ground ok yes now fault is occurring on all the three phases and was cleared after 0.2 scan and the same change happening for the voltage waveforms as you can see and the drop in voltage after 0.1 scan and was cleared after 0.2 scan that is all for this video uh, i hope it was helpful for you thanks for watching